Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Kaczynski, and this is First Look, the Han Tapered Implant System. Advancements in implant design have made the process of restoring normal dental function for edentulous patients more predictable and routine. The Han Tapered Implant System, which combines time-tested features with cutting-edge innovations, has been carefully designed to satisfy the needs of modern implant dentistry. Tailored to perform in even the most demanding clinical situations, the system offers a simple, efficient solution for every indication, including fresh extraction sites. Han tapered implants are engineered to allow precise control of angulation and positioning during placement. The implants seat quickly, with aggressive threads that engage firmly in the direction they're guided and maximize bone contact. The buttress thread pattern of the implant provides good initial stability and minimizes resorption in all bone types, while its coronal microthreads aid in the preservation of crestal bone. The surface of the implant is treated with resorbable blast media to promote osseointegration. The four cases demonstrated here demonstrate the predictability with which they can be placed in immediate extraction sites and tight anterior spaces. So let's look at case number one. Here we have a 72 year old male with no medical complications who presented to the office for treatment. His existing maxillary right central incisor crown was fabricated less than a year prior to his visit. The natural tooth abutment had fractured under the crown. Another dentist suggested extraction followed by fabrication of a conventional three-unit bridge for teeth number seven through nine, or the lateral to uh, maxillary central incisor, but the patient did not find that acceptable and requested information on additional treatment options for replacing the tooth. After our discussion, the patient decided to have the tooth replaced with an implant restoration. The digital periapical radiograph which illustrates the radiolucency around the apex of the maxillary right central incisor. The tooth was symptomatic and any pressure placed on it caused discomfort. We see that although other issues are evident in the photo, the patient simply wanted an extraction to eliminate discomfort and the tooth to be replaced. In figure three, the coronal portion of the tooth was removed with finger pressure, revealing the significant vertical fracture. The physics forceps from Golden Dental Solutions in Michigan were used to atraumatically remove the remaining root structure as shown in figures 4A and 4B. Due to an infection at the site of the vertical fracture, the facial plate was indeed compromised and needed to be repaired. Because of the loss of some of the facial plate of bone, an envelope flap was made that exposed the facial defect and eliminated the need for vertical excisions in the aesthetic zone. A 2.2 millimeter diameter pilot drill was used to create the initial osteotomy, approximately three millimeters palatal to the facial aspect of the adjacent teeth, which kept the burr stable in the bone. Correct mesial distal spacing was verified intraorally using a periodontal probe and proper depth was confirmed radiographically. The 3.5 millimeter diameter and 4.3 millimeter diameter burrs were used to create the final osteotomy for the 4.3 by 13 millimeter Han tapered implant. The Han tapered implant was threaded into the osteotomy site and exhibited outstanding initial stability at nearly 35 newton centimeters. A cover screw was inserted into the implant. And here, note that the beveled surface of the implant was positioned slightly subcrestal on the palatal aspect. Direct Gen Allograph cortical cancellous material from Implant Direct was situated on the facial aspect of the defect. An EpiGuide resorbable membrane from Curasan was passively placed, and Vicro sutures from Ethicon were used to close the flap. We see that the periapical radiograph of the implant and uh, the CBCT, cone beam CT scan taken using the uh, PAX I3D imaging system from Vatec America in New Jersey, 
These illustrate facial bone repair and nice implant position in preparation for a single implant retained crown for tooth number eight. In case number two, we have a 46-year-old female with low blood pressure who presented with a grossly decayed maxillary left lateral incisor that was previously reconstructed. No other contraindications to dental implant therapy was noted. Conventional dental therapy was discussed, including fabrication of a bridge. The patient opted for extraction of the non-restorable tooth and placement of a single dental implant and crown. The patient presented with a fractured and decayed maxillary left lateral incisor. In figure two, we show that the tooth was atraumatically removed while maintaining the facial plate and interceptal bone. My goal here was to control the interdental papilla with proper placement of the dental implant in a physiologically sound position. The 2.2 millimeter pilot drill was used to angle the initial osteotomy and determine the proper depth for the dental implant. We see that the osteotomy burr was used to prepare the socket to accept a 3.5 millimeter by 13 millimeter Han tapered implant. The burr facilitates easy determination of proper length and position in relation to the crest of bone. We see the Han tapered implant was threaded into the prepared socket site and exhibited favorable initial stability. The implant was ideally positioned about one millimeter subcrestal. Sufficient initial stability was achieved for an open tray impression to be made at the time of surgery. The impression was used to fabricate a custom temporary abutment and transitional crown that would be placed to follow a restorative driven protocol and contour the soft tissue for an aesthetic final restoration. We see the radiograph which illustrates optimal positioning of the dental implant which would be allowed to integrate for about four months. In case number three, we have a 61-year-old male with a non-restorable maxillary right central incisor who presented for treatment. Although the patient suffered from controlled hypertension, no other contraindications to implant therapy was noted. Following tooth extraction, a resorbable membrane and grafting material were used to treat bone loss. An implant was placed and a removable appliance was used to sculpt the soft tissue during osseointegration of the implant. After a four-month healing period, final impressions would be taken for the planned custom abutment and crown. In figures 1A, B, C, and D, the patient presented with a mobile, symptomatic, non-restorable maxillary right central incisor. The tooth was atraumatically removed using the physics forceps from Golden Dental Solutions. The facial plate, interceptal bone, and interdental papilla were maintained. A conservative envelope flap was raised, exposing the contour of the facial bone. No vertical incisions were necessary. We see that the 2.2 millimeter diameter pilot drill was used to create an implant osteotomy at the correct angle, mesial distal position, and depth for a 4.3 millimeter by 11.5 millimeter Han tapered implant. Subsequent burrs corresponding to the Han tapered implant system were used to create the final osteotomy for the implant. To correct for the slight bone loss at the facial crest of bone, a resorbable membrane and allograft material were placed at the surgical site. The Han tapered implant was threaded into position and exhibited excellent initial stability when fully seated. A cover screw was placed and the implant was left to heal in a traditional two-stage protocol for approximately four months. A removable transitional appliance would help sculpt the tissue contours and maintain the interdental papilla during healing. In case four, we have a 42-year-old female who presented with no negative medical conditions. Because she was pleased with implant treatment she had received for another tooth in the past, she requested a single dental implant to replace a fractured maxillary central incisor. We see that the patient presented with that fractured maxillary left central incisor that was non-restorable and required extraction. A 2.2 millimeter diameter pilot drill established proper angulation and depth following the atraumatic extraction of the non-restorable root. 
a 4.3 millimeter by 13 millimeter Han tapered implant was placed into the socket site and threaded into position until it was fully seated. Flat cover screw was threaded into place and the implant was allowed to integrate for four months. After just one week, the soft tissue showed excellent signs of healing and interdental papilla formation. So in conclusion, with advanced implant designs, dentists are able to perform implant treatment with a smoother workflow. In addition to providing excellent immediate stability, innovations like the Han tapered implant are making it easier for providers to replace missing teeth and improve the quality of life for their patients. Han tapered implants engage a maximum amount of bone and afford the clinician a high degree of control during placement. They are well suited for a variety of indications, including immediate extraction cases in the aesthetic zone.